Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kitty and today I am working on a 12 by 12 canvas. I've been doing that a lot lately. I'm kind of stuck on the 12 by 12s. Been working my way up from the little ones going bigger. Um, learning new techniques and getting more comfortable with um, all of that. And um, I feel like I'm, I'm growing and I'm learning a lot from so many artists. Um, just off the top of my head, of course, Christina Welch, um, Sherry from Sherry's Life, uh, Rinsky Downa, I hope I said her name right. Erica Hughes. Um, geez, there's so many, you guys. Uh, Brian from uh, Spontaneous Creations by Brian. He showed me an, a, a great way to varnish paintings. Um, and, geez, uh, my goodness, there are so many, you guys. I have learned so much from so many people. Oh, Alan Welch, <clears throat> also Christina's husband. So, um, yeah, I've learned so much from everybody, and uh, I, I just thank you all so much for helping me through this journey. I've only been painting for about, I don't know, since maybe maybe i don't know november of last year i want to say is when i finally finally started uh so not very long but um i've learned a lot and constantly watching videos and, and learning and trying to figure this all out but um oh and karen from waterfall acrylics also so um today i'm doing a dutch pour rinsky downa that's who um i learned this from and i absolutely love this pour and love doing this one it is so much fun and you know it's 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 really great i love it so i these are paints that were left over from my last Dutch pour. <laughs> um, I am using, what is this? This is, this is green from, it's earth green, or green earth from, Jesus, from, uh, shoot, I can't think of the name of it. Um, from, uh, oh, Lucas Krill. Green Earth is what this one is. Green Earth from Lucas Krill. And Creative Inspirations, Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. I'm using the white from previous, previous, previous pores. <clears throat> and this one is... A little thick so I might have to let me add some water. Um, this one is the Flow Acrylics um, Artist Law Flow Acrylics White. Wow, I'm glad you guys didn't see that because I just totally just stripped it all over my hand. <laughs> um, so on my last Dutch pour, if you guys saw the video, I used um, I used these colors, including um, cerulean blue. Um, I'm not going to use cerulean blue this time. Um, so that was the white, and this one is the Liquitex Basics Gold. So I'm leaving the blue out of this one. Um, and uh, 
because I'm I'm trying to I, I want to do greens, y'all. I, I want green, but I'm not sure of the color combinations. So um, I was hoping on the last one that the blue would um, um, mix with the green or with the yellow more than it did. Um, I mean, it makes it, it looks it's beautiful. Like I'm looking at it right now, and it's beautiful. But um, I just wish it would have mixed better, um, but it didn't. So I, if like I said before, if you guys have any good green um, combinations, feel free to leave them below. If you don't mind sharing, um, that would be great, and I would love to try them out. So I'm leaving the blue out today, <clears throat> and I'm just going to go with the green, yellow, white, and gold. So, all right. So, and my mirror right there is still splattered with paint because <laughs> I haven't cleaned it off yet. So, I can still see, but it'll be all right. All right, so I'm going to start with the green. What is this? It's Green Earth by Lucas Grell. So I'm going to start with this, and hopefully we can get a good outcome here. Make a nice puddle. And then I'm going to come in with the Creative Inspirations Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. And a little bit of the white. And the gold. I, I really like it when the gold shows up. Just because I know it shimmers. And it gives it that, <clears throat> I don't know, it just, it looks really good when it dries. That's awesome. All right. So I'm going to slowly and carefully pour my white around it. And I'm going to torch. Get all those bubbles out. There's a bubble right there, and it's gone. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to turn on my hair dryer. I know I always put it on low first, and it never works. So I'm going to put it on high. So you guys can mute it if you'd like, or fast forward. But all right. Here we go. really got to know when to stop. And I totally splattered my mirror again. <laughs> oh my god, that's too funny. At least it's not getting the wall, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why that makes me giggle. 
I feel like all my stuff over here is just a little bit sprayed. Not too bad, but it's still fun. It makes me giggle. Good times over here. So I'm going to torch. And then I'm going to use my, uh, my airbrush. I do love that. That's really pretty. All right. That's so Simple things, you guys. Simple things. I'm... I'm happy with simple things. All right. <laughs> I'm going to just airbrush all this outside out and see what I can get. I know this is pretty bald. Well, I know this is pretty bald right here, but maybe I might leave it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Try to try to push as much paint off as I can while still keeping a good um, a good design because I I don't want a whole lot of paint left on there because I don't want cracking so that that's that's what I try to do. sure if I'm going to be able to bring anything back. I will try here in a minute. There's a lot of dark green under there. That's pretty cool. I'm going to try a little bit more over here. Thank <laughs> you. 
just turn to open all that up. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. I like it. So I was just trying to, I mean, I knew that it, I mean, it looked good before, but I was just trying to open up some of it and hope that there was something under there. So that's why I kept going. That's, that's pretty cool. I like it. Oh my goodness. I love doing Dutch pours, y'all. They may not look like Rinsky's, but I totally hats off to her because she has totally taught me all this. I love doing these. I think it came out pretty good. I like it. Now, I'm not really, a, I've, I've never been a really big green fan or yellow. Blues and purples, y'all. Blues and purples. But um, the more I see paintings with greens and yellows, I'm just, I just, I, pre, I appreciate them more. The color is just, the colors are amazing. Like, I really... I truly love greens and yellows. So, um, Monica, uh, thank you for that with you and all your green videos. Um, it's been it's been uh, amazing. So yeah, I I love this one. So I'm going. I'm done. I'm not touching it anymore. <laughs> I'm going to torch it, and then I'm going to be done. I will clean it up and give you guys a close-up. And uh, that's it. That's another one done. <clears throat> when these are all done and dried and either varnished or resined, they will all be up for sale or... If I get them 100 subscribers, I will be doing an auction. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, I, I don't want to do another auction with just 10 people. So I'm kind of stuck on 100 right now. Get 100 subscribers and I'll have an auction. All of these pieces that I've done, everything, will be up for auction. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, they, they're they pretty freaking gorgeous. I'm I just, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to, you know, they, they look really good. I'm pretty proud of myself. I've come a long way. So, all right, let me give you guys a close-up. Honestly, I'm not sure if I did that to the last one. I don't think I did. All right. Oh, please focus. There you go, look at that middle. Isn't that cool? I'm loving it, you guys. It's 
So tell me what you think. And um, in the comments below, please like and share my videos. Click that, click that bell and you'll be notified of the next video that I upload and, and post and share my videos and subscribe and <clears throat> um, yeah, do all that good stuff, you guys, and I really appreciate you watching, and I will definitely see you on the next one, and thanks again. Bye.